Welcome to part one of this eight part series. I'm about to reveal to you the most important options concept you need to understand. Part one sets the stage for us and helps us understand how and why the top 1% use options. So let's get started. Options are a financial tool that offers leverage. Leverage is what can turn $1 into two, three, five, or $10 or even more. Now as an investor, you can buy options and buy the leverage or sell options and sell the leverage. Either way can make you money, but it's important to understand how. Before explaining that, let's briefly describe how options are a probability game. Start with a stock. It can go up or down. About 50% of the time it will go up and 50% of the time it will go down. And its potential path can be represented by what generally looks like a normal distribution curve. You can see that it cuts that curve right in the middle. This curve also implies that the stock will more often land here than it will land near the end. That should make logical sense. Options, calls or puts, divide this potential distribution into areas above and below it. We can focus on the area above the call options and the area below the put option. Wherever you place the call or put gives you a percentage probability of the stock moving above the call or below the put. Now, let's take a look at the difference between selling versus buying options. First, I assume that we sell a $1 option with a 70% chance of winning. When we sell an option, the most we can profit is what we receive from the option up front. In this case, $1. An example would be a call option with a 30% chance of the stock ending above versus 70% chance ending below. By selling, you win if the option is below. Now I assume that we play this probability game 10 times. The market is telling us that we will win 70% of the time. And when we win, we win the $1, which adds to $7. But when we lose those three times, we will lose $7. Now this is just averages, but conceptually, it's critical that you understand this. It's also important to understand that while you can only make the dollar, you take the risk of unlimited losses when you lose. On the flip side, if you buy that option for $1, then you can only lose the $1. And the market is saying that you will lose that dollar 70% of the time, or $7. But when you win those three other times, then you will win $7. When buying options, you have the ability to make unlimited gains. So the differences between selling and buying is as follows. Your win rate will be higher when selling options versus buying options, meaning you will win on more trades when you sell. Your potential gain on each trade is much smaller when selling options, and your potential loss is much higher. Because of this dynamic, you need a much larger account to sell options than buying options. The critical part to understand is that when you buy options, you are trying to harness the unlimited potential versus trying to avoid the unlimited losses associated with selling options. That's why the top 1% of active investors buy options. They want to control the losses. In part two, you're going to learn the biggest mistake option buyers make. Once you see this, everything will change for you. You don't want to miss it.